G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome back to another episode playing My Sims. This is episode 3 and today we have a gift to give to Poppy and I've also gone around the town, planted a few things, also kind of reconnected with the game, <laughs> what I mean, that sounded so weird, but what I mean is I tried to remember all of the little aspects like fishing, I think it's called prospecting, uh, when you get like the little, uh, what is it called, the gold miner thing and you go looking for little things underground, uh, yeah, so I figured out those and we're also going to do some fishing today because why not and I actually really like it and there is rainbow trout essences that you can catch which are pretty cool because it's got some rainbow colors that we can work with on our house. So the inside of our house is pretty boring. Let's go and have a look. It's so basic. I haven't done anything to it. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this a little bit. I really want to work on the wall. So I do have some essences on me. So let's just have a Tuxie. quick look at what I've got here. We got some rainbow trout, some clownfish. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of painting in here. I don't have any furniture on me besides the bed that I've made poppy. Uh, so we're not going to use that in here, but I definitely want to go and see what colors we can play around with this. So our little pixie is kind of green. She's like a little turtle. So let's look for something that would suit her. This green apple might do the trick. Oh la la. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I really like this color. Oh man, this is kind of tough. Uh, well, I'm going to do this room. We'll also have green in it. We'll go that color and then let's see if there's any other greens. Not really in the happy. Uh, I don't want to waste the happy one at Rainbow Trout. Oh, there's a green. Oh my gosh, the rainbow though. We might keep this rainbow. I really like it and it kind of matches our dual frame. So why not? And let's also go and see if we could do that other green in here. Okay, that's a very vibrant green in our bedroom. Yeah, we're gonna head out now. We're all done trying to make everything a little bit more colorful because before it was so drab and you know what, Pixie is pretty happy with this. It really matches in her. Oh, look at that. Yay. Okay, let's go exit. And we need to go and deliver this bed to Poppy. I feel a little bit bad. Oh, it's morning time. Oh gosh, poor Poppy probably had to sleep on the floor because she didn't even have a bed yet. Um, but yeah, here's one little red red apple. Reddle. I don't know what I was saying then. <laughs> red apple tree. Yes, I have lots of trees growing around the place now. So wherever we go, we should be able to just grab some essences. Uh, on the job. So let's go into Poppy's little shop and see how she's going today. Maybe we can get some happy essences from her too. Hello, Poppy. Look, there is that beautiful florist bench which we made. Oh no, that's the florist bench. This is a, I don't know, flower display that we made last episode. It's pretty cool. Uh, Poppy. Oh no, Poppy, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, girl, I'm so sorry. We have your bed now, okay? I'm gonna give you your bed and then you can go to sleep on it. Oh no! Okay, uh, we got this one for her. So it doesn't actually really match her. Where, where do you want me to put this poppy? In here? Uh, I'm gonna put it right, right in this corner. Perfecto! Yay! I can't wait to go sleep surrounded by such cute flowers. I feel tired already. Poppy has given you a flower stand blueprint. Thank you so much, Poppy! Yay! So we can put some flowers in our house now. Yay! Oh my gosh, we just leveled up our star rating. Your town has reached 
Star Level 1, Mayor Rosalind has authorized you to use the crowbar. Now you can break through any boarded up areas you may find around town. You've also unlocked a bunch of new blocks and blueprints in your workshop. Awesome! Thank you so much for working with me, Poppy. You made that happen. Pixie, did you hear Pixel 10 has been rated a one-star town by the Town Star Ratings Board? That is so cool. The higher our star rating gets, the more people will want to move here. I bet if you work really hard, you can make Pixel 10 a five-star town again. I would love that. That would be awesome. In fact, you could check in with Buddy at the hotel. That's what I was just about to say before, actually, and see if we have any visitors. You can use your map to find the hotel if you don't know where it is. Okay, let's go, man. Lego. I'm pretty sure we're all done with Poppy. I'm, I'm not sure if she's going to contact us in the future for some more jobs, but I really want to go to the hotel, which is right over here, and see if there's anyone brand new. I love meeting new Sims. They are just so cute. <gasps> Hello. Oh, my God. <gasps> is this who I think it is? Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> Oh, man, that boy, though. Chef Gino! Ciao, Pixie! I'm Chef Gino. If you build me a restaurant, I can bring my world-famous pizza to your town. <gasps> that would be fantastic. Us to move in. Pretty, please! It's a beautiful place. There's so much potential. And we need a good restaurant. Magnifico! I'll wait here while you build me an Italian restaurant. Sweet. You can build a house for Chef Gino in an unoccupied lot. We got this. So let's go out here. Oh no, what is happening? Oh, I thought there was a leak in here for a second. I was just there to say, buddy, you need to fix this place up if we're having visitors coming on that train. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go on over here. I really want it to be built right next to Poppy's flower shop. We would like to move in Chef Gino. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go back and we're going to put a little door there, little windows, another little window. Uh, I also want to put a little light there. Oh, actually, we kind of would rather with this right there oh yes okay um and then we'll put that there and put this right there uh and also at the back here okey doke okay looking fresh looking good i'm liking it it's so simple it's so simple but it's it's gotta be right it's gotta be simple so we'll put that on either side or should we put them both at the front it kind of looks a bit weird like that uh maybe one on the side and then we could put two windows Okay, that's that's kind of good. And then we can put the other light at that end. Okay, okay. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go out. We are done. Chef Gino better like this little basic building. <laughs> it's so basic, yeah. but it will do. Congratulations. Pixel 10 has already started growing. Chef Gino is sure to have tasks for you to improve his restaurant. The happier you make the re residents of your town, the closer Pixel 10 will get to the next star level. So woot. Yay. You move in there, Gino. And we are going to head on over to Town Hall and see how Mayor Rosalind's going. She might have some news for us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She already told us. So we can go and check out the areas that are locked up. So let's do that because I want to see uh, the one over here. I actually haven't been in this one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to unlock it though. Uh, it's right over here. So pretty sure we won't be able to inspect because it's rocks. So we'll only be able to do one with crowbars. Look like you can't get through here yet. So I'll have to have like a 
Jackhammer or something for that one. You know what? I don't think that is like the top priority right now. Uh, what we should be doing is talking to Chef Gino, making sure he's really kind of settling into his new restaurant. How you going, Gino? Isn't he cute? Ciao, Pigsy. The restaurant is wonderful. I can't wait to get cooking. Uh, can we go inside? Have a look-see? I haven't even... I don't even remember what this looks like at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. Okay, don't... Oh, wait, I do remember this. So we're gonna have to make him a stove, a fridge, and all of that good stuff. So this is actually going to be very helpful for us because we need to get our kitchen going too. I really like these tables, how he's done it also. So let's go and talk to him. Hopefully we can... Get a toss, there we go. Gino needs some help. Yeah, you can't cook any pizzas without a pizza oven. So let's go and get this for him. We already have some of those essences that he needed. So we'll make that right away for you, Gino. So unfortunately, I am just short of the essences that I need. So I'm back over here near the railway. We're gonna prospect for a little bit and hopefully we can find some more stone because that is what we need. So this is what I was trying to say at the beginning what it is. It's like a, what are they called? A, um, a finder? Uh, oh, a metal detector. Yes, yeah, so it's a metal detector and this is actually one of my favorite parts. I like this. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, we got plenty of stone now and I'm pretty sure we have enough apples. Let's quickly have a look-see. Do we have enough apples? Oh my gosh, we have so many apples. So just head on over to the workshop and we'll get building. Work on a task. And, oh, what happened? Okay, work on a task. Chef Gino, we got enough. Awesome, okay, so let's start with these little ones. And then we can, oh yeah, they're like the legs. And, oh, over here, whoopsie. Okay, there is that weird, like, what type of shape? It's not really a triangle, is it? Uh, we need to flip you around. There we go. I always have a little bit of difficulty with this part, getting things around, because it's like with the WASD, how you flip things. But I'm learning, I'm learning. There we go. Okay, next up, go and put that there, and put that there. Yay! Uh, where was that cylinder? Uh, here we go. Put that cylinder on the top. And I did see right there we have this little bad boy. So we'll just flip him. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, uh, let's pretend that there's like little salt and pepper on the top here. I think I did this last time I played. Uh, yeah, I think I did. So let's pretend it's salt and pepper. Uh, can we put like a little spatula or something that... Nah, I don't think that'll work out very well. But let's go and color it. So the task was eight apples and four stone. Okay, let's start off with the stone. So I reckon uh, this middle part should be red. And these should be like a gray there we go okay and then we should is that enough okay we got eight okay, uh now let's go back to the apple and i want to have it like bright red yes okay i really like it and how many did we need of that we need eight. Oh my golly gosh uh, we might have to do more than that. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do like that. We could also add it down here. Uh, is that enough? We need one more. Dude. Dude. Okay. One of the salt and peppers is that color. Uh, let's go back to this one because... Yeah, this is what I wanted. 
Alrighty, well, that is looking like a great pizza oven to me. We'll go and deliver this to Chef Gainer and hopefully he can make us a pizza for some lunch because I'm sure little Pixie is starving after all of this running around town that I've gotten her doing over here. I keep getting lost. I just keep getting lost. Oh my gosh. Gino, how did you cook that? How on earth did you cook that? Let's go and give him the stuff. So inventory, we'll go and put it over here. I reckon it needs to be right against this wall. Perfecto, yay. Uh, fantastico. <laughs> like it was made by the finest oven smiths from the golden age of oven crafting. Okay, okay. Chef Gino has given you a bad blueprint. It's covered in a delicious marinara sauce. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What? I'm a little bit creeped out. Okay. I would like to make some pizza. Oh no, he needs some more stuff. Oh no. Okay, okay. Make pizza. Let's do this. Okay, it's our go. I want to eat some pizza before we end. I think the reason why he's going crazy is because we can't eat. The, we can't eat the pizza yet. He, we, he, we still need to help him out. Uh, well, guys, I'm actually going to postpone helping Gino. He, he really needs it, though. So in the next part, we'll continue with helping him out. Until then, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye!